two words, Abbey Gate. It was the site of that deadly terror attack during Biden's disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. That's the one where 13 brave U.S. service members were murdered. Last week, the Gold Star father of a U.S. Marine killed in that attack yelled, quote, Abbey Gate from the House gallery uh, during Biden's, well, hyped up State of the Union address. He was then dragged out and arrested by Capitol Police tonight. He will join us with his first interview and respond. That's straight ahead. Now, keep in mind, no one has ever been held accountable for Biden's tumultuous withdrawal from Afghanistan. Biden didn't even seem to understand what this gold star father was shouting. The president has long forgotten those who were killed under his watch, those that he left behind. And a very hyper, jacked up Joe Biden. Well, he did cover a lot of topics during the State of the Union address other topics. He was even shamed into mentioning Lake and Riley. She's the young woman who was reportedly murdered by one of the nearly 10 plus illegal immigrants, unvetted illegal immigrants of Joe Biden uh, that have poured across uh, the open border to our in our South. Unfortunately, well, even Joe got her name wrong, calling her Lincoln Riley. On Facebook, well, Lincoln Riley's mother, good for her, she responded, quote, Biden does not even know my child's name. It is pathetic. She's right. Of course, Joe didn't publicly apologize to the Riley family or even acknowledge his mistake. No, instead, he went on MSDNC for a propaganda interview to express his deep and sincere, sincere regret that he accurately called the illegal immigrant charged with killing Lake and Riley, not Lincoln, Lake and Joe, an illegal. Take a look. You use the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing, we have to control the border and, and more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. Illegal immigrants, Joe, did not build the country. Legal immigrants did. We'll get to that in a second. Where's the apology to Lakin, not Lincoln? Lakin Riley's family, Joe, a young woman is dead. And Joe Biden is focused more on using the more inclusive language to describe her alleged killer while falsely claiming that illegal immigrants, quote, built the country. No, Joe, legal immigrants did that, like my grandparents, all four that came from Ireland. As Biden does nothing to curb illegal immigration, he's been aiding and abetting and lying to us for three years. He's not even attempted to prevent violent offenders from crossing our border. And meanwhile, President Trump, former President Trump, actually did meet with the family of Lake and Riley. He had this to say about this very bright, young nursing student who was brutally, and she was brutally murdered. Watch. One of the lives that was taken from us was a incredible 22-year-old nursing student right here in Georgia, Lake and Riley. From the time she was in the first grade, Lakin's dream was to spend her life caring for others. And I met her beautiful mother and family backstage, sister, friends, some of her friends, a roommate. They said she was like the best. She was always the best. She was, they admit that she was the best. And she was the first in her class. She was going to be the best nurse. She was the best nursing student. She was always the best. She was the brightest light in every room, they told me. Wonder if MSDNC hosts will giggle over it being the number one issue to the people in, in states like Virginia. Lake and Riley's death is totally unacceptable. In fact, every single murder or violent offense committed by an illegal immigrant is unacceptable. That is simple, basic, fundamental common sense. While the illegal immigration, while, while legal immigration is an important part of our country, that is true. Illegals without background checks, any proper vetting, who abuse our asylum process and commit crimes, they should not be here and they should be deported. And yet thousands upon thousands 
pour across that border every single day, including drug traffickers, murderers, rapists, and yes, even terrorists. Even today, FBI Director Ray testified yet again that individuals linked to ISIS are now taking advantage of Joe Biden's wide open southern border. He just forgot the Joe Biden part. Take a look. There is a particular network um, that uh, has, uh, where some of the overseas facilitators of the smuggling network have ISIS ties uh, that we're very concerned about, uh, and that we've been spending an enormous amount of effort with our partners investigating. Um, uh, exactly what that network is up to uh, is something that's, again, the subject of our current investigation. But so there is a network we're concerned about that has facilitators involved in it that have ties to ISIS and Correct. other terrorist organizations. Correct. Our top geopolitical foes, I keep repeating it, Iran, Syria, Afghanistan, Egypt, Russia, and China. Joe Biden signed dozens of executive orders, as Mayorkas once said, too many to even list. All of those executive orders with the stroke of a pen eliminated Donald Trump's critical border protections that were working, including several on his very first day in office. He even flew thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants just directly from their home countries, from Latin American airports, you know, saving them the trip to the border. And guess what? You paid for all those private flights. And now terrorists have to be here among the millions of illegals who have entered our country. Joe, are you even going to listen to your own FBI director? Well, I don't particularly think is the best at his job, and I think he's weaponized and politicized that great former, the greatest institution ever, the, the height of law enforcement in the world, the gold standard that has been corrupted by politics. Now, according to Gallup, a large majority of the American people now see Joe Biden's open border as a critical threat to our country. And yet President Biden refuses to reverse course. He'd rather put Americans in extreme danger than admit that, in fact, Donald Trump was right and that he made a mistake by rescinding those policies. Now, this represents a massive betrayal, and with Joe in office, it will only get worse, a clear and present danger to this country. And time and time again, Biden has proved himself to be a terrible president, a congenital liar. He has for three long years been saying that the border is closed and the border is secure again and again and again. Now he's trying to blame Republicans. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.